what we're going to learn how to do today is we're going to learn how to take these pieces of 2x4 and we're going to turn them into fuel for a wood gas stove so they have to be split. Ideally you want to cut with the grain not against it so like that and then it splits easier if there's knots in the 2x4 it's probably harder to split but I always make sure that I wear some safety glasses you can also wear leather gloves and I'm using a hatchet here which is it has a forged steel head so when I'm hitting it it's not gonna it's solid steel so it, it, it it's not gonna break as easily and what I'm gonna do this time instead of doing the typical thing with a hatchet which is like this which is a swing I'm just gonna you place the hatchet on top and I'm gonna use a rubber mallet or you, you could even use a piece of wood if you wanted to but I'm gonna use a rubber mallet and I'm gonna swing and smack the smack through the wood so now I, I broke through this is in some ways it's might be safer because you don't have to worry about the uh, doing an axe swing the axe doesn't even swing it's just the hammer that swings so again I'm going to put it on top and a couple quick hits with the hammer and it's split there's another one quick split and there's the next one quick split and I'm trying to make these about as thick as a thumb this is maybe two or three inches long and I'm doing this on cement because cement or some really hard surface because then when I hit down there's less give in the ground and then more energy is transferred into the wood which makes splitting easier as, as opposed to just bouncing into the ground and do it again there and I'm gonna do it again so now I have these nice little pieces which I can use to put in the wood gas stove and they burn nicely because they're very dry they're usually kiln dried and they have a lot of energy or or they they create lots of flame and they burn nicely and in lots of places you can easily get scrap wood so you're sort of recycling the scrap wood they have a little bit of sparking, but not that much. This is more of a close-up. You can sort of see. Quick chop. That's how it's supposed to work. I'm doing this on grass. It might be easier to do it on like a cement or something because the grass bounces a little bit and you lose a bit of your energy uh, when you hit. So. You can see the wood here has a grain you want to cut with the grain which is good it makes it easier to split and I'm now cutting on cement which is uh, underneath the board is cement which is maybe a bit easier because the cement doesn't um, it's not squishy so when you hit you get the full energy of the hammer blow and the point of the board is so that when you hit the wood your axe doesn't get, or your hatchet doesn't get dull so you can see I just go like this and with this with this technique you don't even have to swing your hatchet so it gets rid of a, uh, an element of danger you can just swing the hammer just one quick hit and it goes through so see it's a lot easier on cement and you can just you can split so easily See, then I just put it like that. Quick little cut. Quick little cut like that. And these, so I want it about about as thick as a thumb. So I'll put the hat, hatchet on top. Quick little smack. And it's done. Hatchet's on top. Quick little cut. do this one here hatchets on top quick little cut so that didn't take long now I have a bunch of little fuel which I can put in the wood gas stove quick and easy and 
and that, the hatchet holds the wood in place and I do a quick tap and the wood is split. So what I can also do is if I don't happen to have a rubber mallet, I can just take a piece of wood. Maybe it's better if you wear some gloves when you're doing this. And I just go on top and I can split with a piece of wood. The main idea is you don't want to hit with on top of the hatchet head with metal because it, sometimes it'll damage the hatchet head. But if you're hitting with wood or some softer substance, it's not going to do much. So that'll work too. It's, it's just the hammer is just really some kind of weight. That's really all it has to be. Ideally, it's a hammer, but you can improvise. So, see, you get these nice little pieces. Those will burn nicely. The hatchet should ideally be nice and sharp. This one isn't super sharp, but it still works. See, my fingers are all well, well clear of the blade when I'm doing this. That was pretty easy. The reason the hammer works so nicely is because you don't even have to swing the hatchet. The hatchet that barely even moves, which gets rid of some of the risk of using a hatchet to split stuff. Because when you're using a hatchet, you have to make sure that it doesn't swing and hit you in the leg. So your follow through has to end in wood, ideally. You have to be really careful when you're doing this. So the wood sometimes has knots in it. Ideally, you want to split where there's no knot because it's a little bit, uh, it's hard to split through a knot. So you want a nice clear area where there's no knot. When you use a hatchet, you have to be really careful because a hatchet is short, that when you swing, the swing ends in the wood. Because uh, I'm on my knees now, so that if I, um, if I swing through, the hatchet is gonna end up in the wood before it, it swings back. If I'm standing, sometimes, it, and you're not careful and don't have your legs spread apart, you can, if you swing and you miss, it'll sw it'll go down and it can hit you in the legs. So you have to be very careful, measure it out, okay, when the swing is gonna end in the wood and that's gonna stop the blade. So here's a little quick demonstration. See, it, it's a lot harder to try and hit wood like this. You have to have a lot more skill. So that's why the hammer is even easier in this case. All right, see, the the hatchet ended up in the wood and it didn't swing back. See, there's there's a knot. It's harder for me to get through the knot. So now I can, can do that. It's often easier to just use a hammer. You just put the little piece of wood down here and then just a couple little taps. See, I don't have to worry about the hitting this wood with my axe. I just I just have to hit the top of the axe or the hatchet with the hammer, see how easy that is. There's the wood. It's split and ready to go. Thanks for watching and have a great day.